zum Ukraine-Russland. On the Ukrainian-Russian conflict, is there any chance of diplomacy in the Ukraine crisis? That's the subject of debate for the foreign ministers of Ukraine, Russia, USA and EU in Geneva. Klagemauer TV compliments daily what is flatly concealed by the main media. Welcome back. To the question of what the Ukraine conflict parties are negotiating together with the USA and the EU representatives in Geneva, the mainstream media fobs their audience again with lapidary answers. I quote, The question of what exactly is negotiated in Geneva cannot really be answered. End of quote. That's all again. Yet, who on earth are such meaningless news useful to? More and more people ask. Because any further beating around the bush obviously only fosters the typical cover-up politics that the USA or EU already are practicing in public everywhere. Countless countervoices all over the world identify themselves with the following explanation, quote, There is only one reason why the question, what exactly is negotiated in Geneva, cannot be properly answered. It is not ambitious peace plans that they negotiate, but war plans under the smokescreen of diplomatic peace efforts. Countries that evoke war with all verifiable bogus resources do not all of a sudden seriously negotiate about peace. End of quote. Neutral explanatory experts from all over the world therefore agree that such hypocritical peace negotiations only have one purpose, quote, the global public is to be persuaded by permanent failure of these so-called peace negotiations that warlike interventions are necessary. End of quote. That means the permanently failing peace negotiations aim at a readiness to war. The public furiousness is to be stirred up as long against convicted countries like Russia in this case, till a united war can be made on them. So in the Ukraine conflict right at the moment, the general willingness of war is being stirred up against Russia. Cover-up politics may not be permitted any longer by the global public. About that, Klagemau TV feels confident. Therefore, send us your shortly summarized clarifications and important counterstatements. That is how you help us to free the global public from any kind of cover-up politics. In the Ukrainian conflict, this happens through permanently holding on to and reminding of the visually stunning documents that were able to exactly prove the opposite of what the main media unfortunately still say till today. As a reminder, just like all the countries of the so-called Arabic Spring, Ukraine was being overturned by exactly the same warmongers against international law. It has been verified all these governments were overturned deliberately through US-paid and US-orchestrated terrorists. The Crimean Peninsula decided in a completely legal way, with over 90% of democratic yes voices, for a reverted annexation to Russia. Whatever may be held against Russia concerning its history, in the case of the Ukrainian conflict it acted correctly, and whoever argues the converse is guilty of slander and warmongering. An upcoming war in the midst of Europe can only be prevented by pushing through these truths. Do your utmost to assist. Posterity will be grateful.